Hi everyone, I just want to do a quick little video to show you how I line my soap moulds. When you first start out making your own soap, you don't have to go out and buy really expensive silicon moulds and, and all these things. Um, you can just use any containers that you have. You could use a cardboard box, you could chop the top off, you could use a lunch box or an ice cream container, something like that. Or you could go out and buy something like this I got from Kmart. Or if you're really handy, you could make a timber mold yourself out of some timber. I just made this one quite simply. So it's pretty easy to do. All you need is some non-stick baking paper. I've got a really big one that I use for my big molds. Or you can just use the standard size for a, you know, for a small size mold and I'll show you how I do it. So what you do is you get your baking paper and you pull out a piece um, that is long enough to line the inside of the mold. So for this one, I'm going to pull it out so that um, it's long enough to go up the sides of the mold as well. Rip that off. Then turn your mold on the side. Put your paper in front of it. Try and center the mold. And then fold in, um, make some creases that line up with these two um, bottom edges of the, in, of the mold. This is going to form the base of your lining. Okay, once you've got that folded, put that inside your mold. Try and center the edges so that they um, are even. And then push down and Score along those edges a bit just with your fingernail just to make a little crease and then we'll take that out and then you've got these two creases now so you fold along those now this is the good bit so you've got you've got your um, basic bottom shape um, folded then what you do is you put your finger or your thumb in that corner, grab this edge here on this, on this fold and pull that up and open it out and take that corner up to the center to make that V arrow shape. And then you do that on the other side. So you basically do this on all four corners, pull that up, fold that down onto the arrow shape. And there you go, you have one end of your soap, mold, soap mold. <laughs> salt mold. All right, we'll do the other side. Put your thumb in the corner, pull it up, fold it down, and then the other corner, finger there, pull it up, fold it down, and crease. All right, so now pretty much just try and fold it up and grab it, and there you've got your liner. Pop it into your mould, push it in, give it a little bit of a press the seams. What I tend to do is um, if I've got a lot of excess, I'll just trim those off. I also do this, um, you, you might have already seen, but I use the same method to line my bread pans. If I don't want to grease them, I use the non-stick baking paper for that as well. So with the soap moulds, it's really important to sticky tape your edges down because even though it might be sitting nice and flat when you fold it, um, as soon as you pour soap into there, it can um, make the paper wobble and warp a bit. So even these inside parts here, um, make sure you stick them down too because if you're not you can be unlucky and accidentally pour soap down there if you don't tape them down. Obviously you wouldn't fill this over that line there. It depends on the container. If you use the really big extra wide catering size baking paper, you can pretty much line anything. So I just um, press those creases down a little bit and there you have it. You've got a, a really nice um, no leak liner for your soap mold. So when your soap is done, you pour it in, um, your soap is set, you just
peel off that sticky tape, pull it all out, and there you go. There you go. You've got a nice um, way to sort of pull your soap out of the mould as well. And because the baking paper is non-stick, the soap won't stick to it all. It just peels off really nicely. Um, so that's about it. I might do one more just to show you again how it goes, and I won't talk through this one. I'll just do it quickly. When you get this little bit of excess here, I just trim that off. There you go, no leaks, really easy to do.